Good morning, folks. We got the 2001 Toyota Camry sitting right behind me. We got the film crew over here on standby, chewing on a, chewing on a block of wood. So today the plan is to get the timing belt and water pump replaced on this 2001 Camry. Now this is gonna be the same procedure on all of the Toyota Camrys from this uh, generation with the 2.2 liter inline four. So right now I'm replacing the head gasket on this 2001 Camry. I wanted to make two separate videos, one for the head gasket, timing belt, shebang all together, and one for just replacing the timing belt. So I went ahead, got the head gaskets all done. Everything's good to go. I just put this all back together with the old timing band just so that I can show you the locations of all the bolts and how to take the whole thing apart. But let's, uh, let's get this underway. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take this alternator off. Disconnect your negative, and I disconnect the positive too, I just disconnect the whole entire battery. Get the battery disconnected and take off your cable. Unplug this one and set them aside. Now this little connector right here is gonna be snapped onto there. You're just gonna lift up on this tab here and pull it out, okay? Then what you can do is you can set your alternator aside, or your alternator harness aside and out of the way. Take your nut, thread it back on. So there's two bolts that hold the alternator on. There's this one right here, and there's this one right here. Loosen this one up, but leave it in there. And same with this one, loosen it up, but leave it in there. And then you could start running this bolt out, which takes the belt tension off. You can slip the belt off, and then you can pull this bolt out, as well as this one out the rest of the way. Rotate your alternator upwards and wiggle it out. Then take that bolt that goes in the top of your alternator, put it back into its hole. Take this one that goes through your alternator tensioning block and start it back into back to its spot. So what this is doing is it's just putting all your bolts where they go and it's an easy way to keep track of all your bolts. Go over to your parts table, set it aside. So the next step is to grab a 31 millimeter socket. I don't have that, but I have an inch and a quarter. Works just fine. Inch and a quarter comes out to about 31 point, 31 and three quarters of a millimeter. So it fits on there a little bit loose. And we're gonna remove this valve cover. I've already removed it. Like I said, it's on there loose. So what you'll do is you'll pull the spark plugs out. Obviously you'll remove the spark plug wires first, then pull the spark plugs out. And then you'll take each one of these spark plug tubes has a big nut on the top of it. Big 31 millimeter nut. It doesn't have any valve cover bolts like a normal car. It just has those nuts. This is what they look like. And you'll take your socket and you'll just back them off of there. Take that nut off. There's gonna be four of them. One, two, three, four. I only put it back on there with one, just to show you guys. And then what you can do is take a pry bar or a screwdriver. If you look right here, this is a perfect spot. You can put the pry bar on top of this bracket and go off of that ear right there and pop this thing up. I don't even have the gasket on there right now. I'm just showing you guys how you're gonna break it loose carefully. The other thing is you're gonna wanna get a new valve cover gasket. So you don't have to be too careful with the gasket itself, but you definitely wanna be careful with the mating surfaces. So set your valve cover aside and you're ready to move on to the next step. So the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna get this motor mount out of the way. So the only bolts you have to take out on this motor mount is this one right here. Take it out, set it aside for just a second. And then this one here, you can leave this hook attached. Don't touch that bolt, that doesn't need to come out. <clears throat> so that hook can stay, but these three bolts in the front here need to come out. Take these three out. All these go into the block. <clears throat> so when you're putting them back in, you're gonna wanna keep that in mind that they thread into aluminum. as not to over torque them. Okay, there's those three. Set those aside again for just a second. Now we're gonna wanna grab these two bolts here. They're kind of goofy looking ones, but this one here. And this one here. And then we could pull this top piece out. We'll take the bolt that went into the top portion of this motor mount, thread it back in the hole. We'll take these two goofy looking bolts, thread them back into these holes, just by hand, nice and loose. Just so we remember where they go when we're putting it all back together. These next two bolts are kind of hard to get to but I'll show you where they're at. So let me show you, 
Let me show you where those next two bolts go. I'm recording on the iPhone here. <clears throat> Come down around underneath the car. So I may have forgot to mention in the beginning, you're definitely gonna wanna get your vehicle up on ramps for one, to give you some height to crawl around underneath the car. <clears throat> and you're also gonna wanna jack it up and put it on jack stands on the passenger side so that you can get this tire off. So anyway, crawl up underneath on the passenger side. Do you see that bolt head right there in the center of the frame? That is one of the bolts that you need to remove. The other one is on the other side. That whole metal bit, this whole metal, there's one bolt and the other bolt is on the other side. This whole metal piece is the lower part of that bracket. You can see up here is the top part of that bracket. That bolt that's backed out up there is the alternator bolt. <clears throat> it runs all the way. <clears throat> this bracket runs all the way down into basically the center of the engine in the middle of all the pulleys and bolts up. There's one bolt right there on this side and there's one bolt on the other side. So let's go back up to the top and we'll take them out. So the easiest way I found is to come from the front. You'll stand by the passenger side headlight and reach your hand in there. You can't really see what you're doing, but you can go by feel. You just touch this bracket, grab it right here, run your fingers all the way down it until you feel the bolt heads and you'll start taking them out. You really can't see them. You can't get a good line of sight on them at all, but you can go by feel. So you'll get your ratchet lined up on there by feel and then you'll run the bolts out and there's the two of them right there so you got those two bolts out next thing you need to do is take apart this one and separate these two brackets take the one that bolts up to the cylinder head out and the one that bolts up to the front of the engine out and then just go ahead and put them back together we'll take these two bolts drop them right here We'll set this on our table, right next to the alternator, along with this motor mount. And then we'll take these three bolts and just lightly run them in. So now we have the valve cover off, the alternator out of the way, and that motor mount slash bracket is out of the way. That's all the room you need to make to be able to do this job. So the next thing you need to do is take off this upper timing belt cover which is held on by four bolts. There's one right here. There's one right here. There's a pesky one that's kind of hard to get to. Basically, right underneath, right where my finger is. Hopefully you can see that. But my finger is touching the head of it. Feel around down there and you'll feel the bolt. So you'll take that one out. These are all 10 millimeters. You should be able to reach a ratchet in there just fine. So there should be a fourth bolt for you right here, but mine fell out. It's actually sitting right down here. Here. So there will be a fourth bolt right on the top left side of this. So I'll pull this cover out. So we'll leave these like this. And we'll set that aside. Okay. Now we gotta get the engine in time, which may sound like, oh boy, I gotta get the engine in time, but it's not that hard. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a 19 millimeter socket along with a three quarter ratchet. It doesn't have to be three quarter, but three quarter makes it a little easier. So 19 millimeter socket, extension, ratchet. Put the puzzle together. Stick your ratchet on this 19 millimeter socket right there on the crankshaft pulley, and we're gonna rotate it clockwise. You do not wanna rotate this engine counterclockwise. It's no bueno. So rotate it clockwise until, let me get a light. With one hand on your ratchet, climb up to the top of the engine. Remember, rotating it clockwise and look down at your crankshaft balancer pulley and you'll see, see that little thing right there? It says 15, 10, 5, 0. You wanna line the zero up with that little notch in the crankshaft pulley. I'm gonna rotate it around one more time, 360 degrees just to show you guys. But you see that little notch moving to the right? See it? You're gonna wanna bring that all the way around until it lines up with the zero. There it is. 
We're gonna run nice and slow until it lines up with the zero. There, perfect. You're gonna come over here to the top of your engine and look at the cam gears. There should be, where these two cam gears mesh together, there should be two timing marks that line up. And I've marked them with white paint. Do you see how they're not lined up? And in fact, they're 180 degrees out of position. There's one of them that has the white paint in it. And there is the other one. That doesn't mean that your engine is out of time. That just means that you're at top dead center on the exhaust stroke. So put your ratchet on, come back up here, look at your crankshaft pulley and rotate that balancer around one more time until that lines back up with the zero. And that should put you at top dead center on the intake stroke. Right there, a little further, right there. Come on, baby. Yeah, okay, that'll do. So, 360 degrees back around, back on the zero, and voila, there are your marks on the cam gears meshed together. So you'll notice that there's another mark right there and right there on these cam teeth, you're gonna ignore those marks. Those marks don't matter. You're only worried about those two marks right there. So you'll see a threaded hole right here with another mark right next to the threaded hole. Disregard that one. The one closest to the threaded hole does not matter. And the identical one on the intake cam also does not matter. So you're just focused on those two and those should line up. Okay, so the next step here is gonna get to is gonna to be to get this old timing belt removed. So in some cases, you can just slip the timing belt right off of the tensioner, but you can't always do that. So another way to do that, just go ahead and loosen this bolt up, shove this pulley downward, and you'll see that spring flexing right there. And then you can, you'll have, uh, you'll have to run this bolt back in to lock it down while it's, the spring is extended, and then you can have enough slack to slip this belt off. But, we were able to do it like that. So we'll get this belt out of here. We'll take this bolt out from the tensioner the rest of the way. Being very careful not to drop it. Okay, there it is. And then we'll just put a couple fingers on the spring here. Hold it onto the spring and then we'll just work this thing out. It lines up on two pins, so there's just that one bolt, and then you kind of have to work it off of the pins. It can be a little bit annoying, but eventually it'll come right out. So, let's we'll drop that right in there. And we actually have a new tensioner, so we'll set that aside for now. Okay, so next step after slipping that timing belt off is going to be to remove this crank pulley bolt. Take an impact driver, extension, and a 19. Hold that pulley as best as you can and just gun it out. Okay, our next maneuver is gonna to be to get rid of this. This is the accessory belt for the uh, power steering. So we're gonna take a 12 millimeter and we're gonna break this bolt loose right here. Just break it loose, that's all you gotta do. Okay, so you'll go to the very top bolt that you can see on this power steering bump, which is that one right there. See it? If I can get my wrench on there, let me use the box end. All right, and break it loose. There you go. Now this thing should be able to pivot and you should be able to take the belt off. Okay, so we got our power steering pump belt we got our we got our alternator belt and they're all out of there we got a little puppy who wants to play with it go ahead buddy play with play with the belts it's all yours okay we got that belt off of there and so like i said i already had this whole thing taken apart so i've already pulled this thing off of here when i first got it off or when I first got this bolt out the first time, I was looking at this pulley like, man, there's nowhere to fit a pulley, or there is nowhere to fit a puller inside of this pulley. How am I ever gonna get this thing off? And I thought, well, you know what? Maybe I'll just try and pull on it and see what happens. So I put my thumb right here, my other thumb right here, 
and I put my fingers behind this and it just slid right off just like that. The first time I tried it, just slid right off. So, pulleys off of there. Now we can take off this lower timing belt cover. Grab our 10. Get started taking these bolts off. So we got one longer one and one shorter one. Shorter one goes on the bottom. And looks like that's all we're still attached to here. Unless there's something else up here. Oh yeah, I missed one. Okay, so there's one more bolt right in the middle, right here. Hopefully you guys can see this with the angle of my GoPro right now. Okay, and there's another short one. Fuck it. Just gonna take that thing off. Man, this timing belt is just completely shredded. Holy crap. Okay, so I got that lower half of the timing cover off. Basically what I did was, so this wire goes down along there and hangs right about in there. And then this little part of the harness sets right on here and keeps the whole thing tight and away from all the pulleys. So I just detached it from here, hung this whole thing down there, unscrewed the sensor, and then I was able to basically hold this thing out here. And then from here, I was able to work the screwdriver in there and get this taken out of the this little hole right here. So once you get these out of the way, I went ahead and cleaned them up because they were covered in shards of uh, timing belt. As you can see here, here's my new timing belt. Here's the old one. This is about half, well, about three quarters gone. Plus, if you have a look here, well, first of all, it was just being eaten away. Where'd it go? Look at that. It was just hanging on for dear life. I mean, look. <laughs> so. Safe to say that timing belt was toast. Okay, our next move here is gonna be to take off this water pump. So uh, we'll take the water, I, by the way, I used like four cans of brake clean, cleaning all this rubber gunk crap out of there. I mean, look, it was just, the whole thing was full of this stuff. You can see that black bucket of just brake clean. So let's get started getting this water pump off of here. The first thing we're going to take off is this, which is the alternator tensioning bracket. Okay, so we'll grab a 12 millimeter socket, undo this right here. This holds on the bracket for the alternator tensioner and also uh, bolts, it, it goes through the, it goes straight through the water pump. So we have to get it out of the way. Okay, with that out of the way, we'll just leave that right there for now. We'll switch back to a 10 because it looks like the rest of these are 10 mils and we will just start plucking these off. All right, so I'll take a razor blade, which is probably not the recommended tool for this, but I'll just be real careful. And scrape off all this old gasket. Alright folks, this video is starting to get kind of long, so we're just going to cut it off right there. I'm editing part two right now, so it should be out soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>